Let's break down Bitcoin ordinals. Bitcoin is a digital currency, and its smallest unit is a Satoshi, or SAT. There are 100 million SATs in one Bitcoin. In 2023, the ordinals protocol let people attach data, like images or text, directly to a single SAT. This process called inscribing turns a SAT into a unique digital artifact. It's similar to NFTs but with a twist. Ethereum NFTs use smart contracts and often just point to where the art is stored. Bitcoin ordinals don't use smart contracts, the data is etched right onto the blockchain. That means the art or data is actually on Bitcoin itself, immutable and permanent. Once an ordinal is created, it can't be changed or removed. The creator, Casey Rotomore, didn't change Bitcoin's core code. He simply numbered each Satoshi in the order it was mined, giving every sat a unique serial number. By attaching data to these numbered SATs, you get one-of-a-kind digital collectibles. It's a new use for Bitcoin, opening up possibilities beyond just being a currency. Ordinals are digital artifacts, not just links or certificates. They're baked into Bitcoin's fabric, existing as long as the blockchain does. This innovation sparked a new wave of creativity and experimentation on the world's oldest blockchain. When ordinals took off in early 2024, the crypto world went wild. Trading volume for Bitcoin NFTs hit $1.4 billion in just three months. Everyone wanted in, enthusiasts, investors, and developers. The network got crowded and transaction fees soared. For the Ordinals community, high fees meant huge demand and success. Bitcoin NFTs offered something Ethereum couldn't, permanence and security. The idea of digital artifacts lasting forever on Bitcoin was powerful. New marketplaces and tools popped up overnight. The community was vibrant and creative, pushing Bitcoin beyond just a store of value. For a moment it felt like ordinals were the future of NFTs. But as with all hype cycles, things were about to change. After the explosive start, the ordinals market cooled fast. By early 2025, trading volume dropped 80%, down to $290 million. The gold rush was over, and reality set in. Interestingly, average prices for Bitcoin NFTs kept rising, even as sales fell. The casual flippers left but serious collectors stayed, paying more for quality. Industry insiders called the hype over, and the market matured. Value now depended on substance and strong communities, not just novelty. The correction weeded out speculators leaving dedicated builders. Ordinals weren't dead, they were evolving. The focus shifted from quick profits to long-term value and real utility. Alongside ordinals, a new token called Ordi emerged, using the BRC20 standard. Ordi's price soared to $97 at the peak, then crashed to $21 as hype faded. Ownership is highly concentrated. Just 10 wallets hold over 70% of Ordi, making it risky and volatile. Ordi's journey mirrored the rise and fall of the ordinals market. But this wasn't just a Bitcoin story. The entire NFT market slumped. In early 2025, NFT sales across all blockchains dropped 63% and even top Ethereum collections lost value. The speculative bubble had burst, yet some projects like Pudgy Penguins and Doodles thrived by building strong communities and real-world partnerships. They proved that long-term value comes from engagement and utility, not just hype. The lesson for ordinal survival depends on substance, not speculation. The NFT space was maturing and so was the Bitcoin collectible scene. The next phase would require more than just digital art. With the ordinals hype fading, attention is turning to Bitcoin DeFi, decentralized finance. DeFi means lending, borrowing, and trading on the blockchain, and it's been dominated by Ethereum. Bitcoin's DeFi market is tiny, but new technologies like Layer 2 solutions and ZK rollups are changing that. These innovations could unlock billions in value, letting users earn, borrow, and lend with Bitcoin securely. Experts predict Bitcoin DeFi could become a $10 billion ecosystem. The Ordinals experiment showed Bitcoin can be more than digital gold. It brought new developers and ideas to the network. The future is about building real financial tools on Bitcoin's secure foundation. The next chapter for Bitcoin is just beginning.